Hey everybody, this is Joe slash Fools of CC, and this week we've got a really exciting new update to the Construct 3 video game engine, the inclusion of the 3D camera plugin. This is really exciting stuff, and it's going to let us make awesome new types of games inside of the Construct 3 game engine. I've already seen a lot of great examples coming out on Twitter, I've also been playing with it myself, so let's go ahead and jump on in and see what this thing is all about. Okay, everybody, so here we are inside of release 262. As of today, this was released just a few days ago, and this is where we get the new 3D camera plugin. This is really exciting stuff. It comes on the back of a string of updates, really, for Construct 3 as it relates to 3D. And with this new 3D camera plugin, we're really going to be able to make our games come alive in the third dimension in a way that we hadn't quite been able to do yet. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the editor and see what this is all about. So, I'm inside of the editor for release 262. Let's go ahead and pull up the provided template, which was uh, provided with this release. This first person shooter with some uh, adorable pigs that we get to run around and shoot tomatoes at. So, oh, I missed. Oh, there we go. Got one. All right, so this is really cool. Um, this is something that we weren't able to do before. So now we actually have a uh, 3D camera plugin that we can use to travel around inside of our games and really make use of some of the 3D features which are coming alive inside of Construct 3. So let's go ahead and look at the event sheet and see how this is being done. Okay, so over here in the object types, uh, if you were to double click and add a plugin, uh, you would see right here, if you haven't added it yet, the 3D camera. Once you've done that, it'll show up in your object types over here. And this is what's going to allow you to do some really interesting new camera angles. For this demo, they did a very, very simple action, which is if you look here, let me zoom in a little bit. What they have here is every tick for 3D camera, set the camera parallel to layout with the camera position of the player X and Y, a camera Z of eight, and a look angle of player dot angle. So whichever way the player is looking, if I have like an eight direction on it, or maybe I have a car or whatever, I want that look angle to match that. And this is just one of a few options for the camera. So this is a really simplified way to really make it a nice and easy experience for getting a first person perspective inside of your game. I think most people are eventually going to graduate though to this look at position. And this will actually allow you to not only set the X, Y, and Z position, but also the look at position as well as what the up vector is for X, Y, and Z. And you can do some really cool stuff with these nine attributes here. Um, these other two I think could be interesting for some cinematic effects to move along camera axis, uh, as well as move along layout axis. Uh, but I'm gonna focus today at how we might make use of this look at position and start to play with those nine attributes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to a event sheet that I quickly edited to add some rotation using the look at uh, action for the 3D camera. So in here, I, I change this over to look at position. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually placing the camera behind my sprite. And I'm gonna set it about a distance of 100 pixels back, the same Z height of eight. And then I'm gonna set the look at position in front of my sprite uh, by about 100 pixels with a slightly lower Z, so I'm tilting the camera down, and I'm gonna set my up vectors to these X, Y, and Z. And before we play with that, let's just go ahead and give this a play and show you, look, it's largely the same experience, but now I can actually see my player, which is kind of cool. And I'm just doing some simple trig to put the look at position and the camera position behind and in front of the sprite and to still rotate along with the player. So that's all good stuff and that's pretty interesting. And we can change this at runtime. So you can start to do some more interesting experiences with how your, your camera is moving when you are moving your character to really accentuate certain movements in games. Now, this up X, up Y, and up Z thing is kind of an interesting thing to get to play with. You can start to add some more interesting experiences like when you get hit, we used to do like the screen shake, right? Well, maybe there'll be things where we rotate the camera in the future or do some other things inside of our games. Um, what I've done here is I've set up a simple uh, command where if I use the keyboard for Q or E, I'm actually gonna rotate my camera around the axis. So let's go ahead and give that a play and show you what I'm talking about. So if I hit Q here, oh, all right. 
I can actually rotate back and forth. So you can imagine, oh, this is gonna be nauseating, <laughs> um, how you might make use of this in your games. So <laughs> a little nauseating for how I'm showing it right here, but you can make some really cool effects with this, which is awesome. Um, the way that I'm doing this is I'm updating my up X, my up Y, my up Z each, each tick, and I'm setting my rotation angle to, for my Y, cosine of rotation angle, and my Z, the negative sign of my rotation angle. And all I'm doing is incrementing up and down my angle when I'm holding down Q and E. And that lets me rotate my camera. And that's gonna be kind of a cool effect that you can add in your games. Okay, one more example uh, that I wanted to show to you today. I had a previous demo where I had created this kind of city environment. And I wanted to see if I could get the 3D camera working inside of there. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so here we are. I'm inside of my new my uh, 3D City demo that I had been tinkering with previously, and I've imported the new 3D camera plugin, and I can drive around. I can do a little camera tilt to accentuate the movement. It's a little jerky right now, but hey, you know what? I'm just playing with it, and I have all the tools I need now to smooth this out. So this is really, really cool. Um, one thing that I will show you now is I did make use of a additional plugin, which maybe we'll see in the default Construct 3 game engine in the future from McCall, where I'm able to actually import certain models. And I am importing his Jeep model here. And I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna make uh, a quick showcase of what that might look like in the future. Okay, so now I'm in here with this 3D model uh, plugin uh, where I've imported the object and the material file uh, using McCall's plugin. I'll put the link down below. and. It's awesome. I mean, we're, we have a 3D Jeep inside of Construct 3 driving around a 3D city environment. And one more thing that I had to do because I couldn't help myself since this is a, a 3D camera focused video is I wanted to showcase myself now flying inside of my city, which, oh yeah, look at that. I never thought I'd be doing this inside of Construct 3. So this is pretty awesome. Let's come in for the landing. Ah, oh, nailed it. Okay guys, that was my tutorial slash demo slash showcase and some of the fun things that you can do inside of Construct 3. Taking a look here at what I did to actually make this work, it's really just a bunch of math on the X, up X, up Y, and up Z position. And using that camera look at position to set up how I want this to work. You can come up with your own controls for your own game and do some really interesting stuff with it. Last but not least, big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys supporting me each month. James Welch, Clone13, McCall, Stevie Conlin, and Lee Ching Ming. You also get access to any art I put up on my itch page for free to use in your games without any royalties or anything like that. So thank you for those who support me. And if you want to support me, check out the link in the description below. Thanks, everybody, and have a nice day.